Well, we do have some progress to report this morning. Firefighters um, in, that are right now fighting the fire that is burning in the Pecos, they tell us that they have it right now about 5% contained. Not a whole lot, but at least it's some. There is something there. As of last night, the Trace Lagunas fire had burned close to 7,500 acres, and unfortunately, that number is probably bigger. Now, News 13, David Romero joins us live from Pecos. David, what's it looking like out there this morning? Well, Matt, it is pretty cold up here where we are at. We are at the Pecos Ranger Station. Uh, we're a good number of miles from the fire line itself. Now, you can tell by anything around me that the wind is calm. It's like almost not even present at this point. And as I mentioned, it is pretty cold where we are at. And you can still smell some of the smoke in the air, but it's not too heavy. Now, some of that latest information that we got from fire officials is that the fire is about 5% contained, and it was within 7,500 acres as of 10 o'clock last night. But, of course, that was expected to have grown. A crew said they were making good progress, but the focus is primarily on the changing weather. With lower temperatures, higher humidity, and almost no wind on Sunday, they made their most progress yet. And they need to because drier weather is on the way. Helicopters continued water and retardant drops that crews say are working. They've lost no structures to date, but some have come very close. The Pecos River, some of those homes in there, it's, it's, it's within 20 feet. And fire lines are now going around those properties. The plan is to complete them by the end of their shift today, which could allow people back in some of those homes. Now, crews say the fire was near 24 summer homes in Holy Ghost Canyon, but that was slowing down as of Sunday night. And again, residents have been donating a lot of uh, supplies to the fire crews here. Those include uh, water and drinks and, and, and other food. And the state forestry officials say they appreciate that, but they are beyond capacity with what they can accept right now. So they're asking for people to not donate for a while. Uh, they do appreciate it, but just please hold off on that. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you for the update, David. We'll check back in with you in a half hour. And David's absolutely right. The generosity to the firefighters and the folks who've been evacuated has simply been overwhelming. And now on to the other wildfire that is burning right now north of Hemis Springs. As of 930 last night, the Thompson Ridge fire here had burned 1906 acres and firefighters have none of it contained. They've been working this fire since mid afternoon on Friday when a tree hit a power line. Since then, strong winds blowing along the bone dry land gave the fire the upper hand for the most part. About 50 homes and people there are still under an evacuation order this morning. The fire did slightly damage one of those homes. Firefighters knocked that one down pretty quickly and they say no more homes are in immediate danger. Last night, Governor Susana Martinez said it is possible that some people could return to their homes as soon as today. A lot of that depends on the weather and what mm -hmm. firefighters are able to get accomplished. Yeah, and we